The Bank of England decided to keep its interest rate unchanged today at 0.5% and says it won't extend its gilt purchases beyond the £375 billion worth bought so far. Joining me on the line to discuss this further is Marina Valimse, economist at Efficient Group. Hello, Marina. Marina, what do you make of today's Bank of England rate decision? Well, the decision was expected by us, um, much like all the other market participants. And I do think the Bank of England is making decisions probably very similar to other reserve banks internationally, which is a little bit of a wait-and-see type of approach. We saw in the beginning of the year there were lots of programs implemented last year to stimulate various economies. And I think the central bank still wants to figure out how these programs will support the economy in the next few months. And how do you think the markets will respond to the BOE decision? Because the decision was expected, I don't think the markets uh, reacted specifically uh, because of its decision. I think the gain that we've seen on specifically the UK market today what would have happened either way. Uh, well, if the decision was unexpected, we probably might have seen the market reacting differently. But for now, the reaction that we're seeing on the market is in line with what we expected regarding the, the type of decisions that it has, that has happened today and some expectations um, that we do, do see coming out in the next few days. How effective do you think the funding for lending scheme has been since its launch in August last year? Well, I do think that it's still very early to really know what how this program has stimulated, stimulated the UK economy. Um, in the beginning, just after it came out, some reports suggested that it hasn't helped so much, specifically when you look at smaller businesses and smaller firms. Um, it, it, they say that even though credit is, is um, a little bit cheaper, it's not always accessible to, to small businesses. So I think it hasn't been long. It's only been five months. I think we should give it at least half a year or a year to really start seeing the difference. I think any similar program that is trying to support credit uh, spending in, a, in an economy in this time, that we see in, in this time frame that we're seeing in, in global economics, specifically for Europe, as the economy is slowing down significantly. Any kind of uh, stimulatory program in terms of credit would support the economy, but we're probably going to need a little bit more time for the consumer um, to start building its appetite for credit again. And what is your economic outlook for the UK? Well, uh, we actually also see the, the UK economy growing just about 1% uh, during 2013. Um, at this point, inflation seems to be uh, all over the world. Uh, it's a global phenomenon at the moment. And um, we, although the UK economy is still going to probably have a very lackluster ex- exports, we do think that if there is some sort of signal from the economy uh, indicating that the economy might not be growing as strong as this, there will no, so there will probably be an announcement by the Bank of England to increase its asset purchasing uh, plan a little bit more, and that will actually stimulate the economy if it, if it should dip um, a little bit below this forecast. So, in general, I, I do think that this economy will do uh, slightly better than, obviously, one percent better than 2012, and therefore, uh, across the board, will probably not will probably be an improvement um, in some of the European economies as well. Thanks for joining me, Marina. That's all we have time for right now, but here at Duke Scopy TV, we'll be keeping you up to date with the latest financial news. For now, though, goodbye.